Hello everybody, my name is Zeke Blue, we call for short, and welcome back to another video. The update has come out. So, we got, we got some new stuff to look at, right? So, just looking at the announcements, you can already tell that there's, there's some pretty cool stuff that's in. About decks used in solo mode. What is this? Alright. We take a picture of the blah 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 decks. Uh, to create did they change decks? Uh, the liner decks? Yeah, they did. They did change the liner decks. I don't really know the actual difference, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, they, we haven't beat Trooper's Gate. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Alright, let's check the shop. Let's check the shop. The Duelist Cup also now exists. Invincible Raid. Alright, let's check what's an Invincible Raid. Literally just beat troopers. Guardian Chimera. Oh, Dino Morphia. Let's go. DDD gets more support. Uh, Fossil Digs in here. It's not a new card, but it's just a good card to see. Oh, book support. This card's not new. This card's not new. Do they have radiation? I knew it would come. I knew radiation would come. Oh, I'm really, I really am ahead of my time. Yeah, I'll probably be crafting three of that later. Uh, Nordic support. Nobody's gonna play Nordics. <laughs> uh, a good attic. More DD stuff. I feel like, uh, I mean, like, alright, so yeah, B Troopers, Radiation. Uh, Sir Sarctic can actually, like, kinda work now. Uh,. Arctics, uh, B Troopers, Dynamorphia, and I believe that's all like the new archetypes. A couple of new cards for some old archetypes. And I think that's it. <clears throat> all right, all right, pretty fine, pretty fine. Dynamorphia, I'm not excited to play against. I have a feeling that Dynamorphia is going to be incredibly lame because that's just how it feels. You have the Trishula mate, okay. Looks kinda strange, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Thing's huge though. This thing doesn't change forms. Only the only the dragon mates get that. Oh my god! Yo! This is actually sick. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I saved my gems. <laughs> I might have to get this. I'm, I'm a sucker for the dual fields, I won't even lie. I love the dual fields so much, they look so cool. You have the token collector and the earth. Why can't you have the water with the water spill, or field? And then... <laughs> this is just asking for people to hate you, the DPE icon. Alright. Alright, alright. So that's the new stuff in the shop. Um, you know, honestly, like, let's just jump into it. Uh, should I do solo mode or the Duelist Cup first? I feel like if I'm gonna jump into the Duelist Cup immediately, I'm just gonna get, like, washed because so far the deck I'm running is, like, Punk Super Quant, and I don't think it's gonna work out well. But they are actually gonna give you B Troopers. Of course, they're not gonna give you the good B Troopers. The, the card sleeve is kind of nice. And yeah, I mean, that's it. Seems like, yeah. yeah. Alright, I said I would I wanted to avoid because I'd get washed, but, you know. I suppose we can check. I suppose we can see. Oh, that is a sick background. Depending on what rank you achieve in rank duel season 7, you'll start the first stage from a DL at a certain point. Yo, that's a sick sleeve. That's actually really cool. Like just because I'm like uh, like plat five, I get I get new stuff. I want to put that sleeve on immediately. Yo, this is kind of stacked. I don't think the list is different for anything. I run base pawn. You know, it's crazy. I crafted three Ash Blossom and I immediately started winning. 
uh, this doesn't mean the engine's good. It just means that it, I, I'm more caught up on the hand trap, and I'm gonna go second. Uh, this deck doesn't really do much, to be honest. It's cool, and I mean, like, it can play through, like, one negate, maybe. Oh, my. It, it's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. I drew no hand traps. Wow. I feel like I'm in a shadow duel right now. Alright, I'm playing against Despia. That's fine. Uh... I can literally normal summon attack here, and I'd actually like destroy a monster if I really needed to. Please don't set one past. That better be Brendan and Red you got there. You know, maybe he's actually just running Fluffles. <laughs> I draw. IDP. Okay. Uh, it is a shame though, because this is kind of like the worst one to draw in this scenario. You... it's only by battle? Nah, it's just sent to Graveyard, alright. I probably shouldn't have put it in Perm Column, but it's fine. Max! Ooh, you... you don't know what's gonna happen, do you? I'm gonna hold on to Raigeki, set Solemn, and then attack. Now he gets another uh, patchwork, right? So, so far, like, half his hand is just fake. It's just like an edge jump in a poly. Gonna set there or stop it. Really is not a great opener, but so, I mean it could be worse. It's a fiend. A Luber is a fiend too, isn't it? He's really thinking. He's like, what? What does Gagaku Punk Wild Picking do? Oh, if only, if only he knew. If I get far enough, am I gonna get this dual field? Cause this is sick. Um, my hopes for, I guess, the duels cup is that I'll I'll get like past the first stage and then I'll go into the second one. Oh, he surrendered. Okay. Connection failed. Uh, wait, need to win twice? You have to advance to the second stage. So pretty much you're gonna have to get the max deck to go. I'm not sure how... How forgiving it is. Duelist Cup tickets. Oh. Uh, let me see. I just want to see if you can get the dual field, but I guess you can. This is an icon. Alright, alright. So, I mean, yeah. Uh, basically, you're just playing against <laughs> your normal ranked adversaries, I guess. Uh, you start at the bottom. Ooh, there are Duelist Cup events, though. So, this is definitely going to be a good way to rack in gems. Uh, and for all you people who want to play Dynamorph. Oh my gosh, you can you can get more deck slots. I was wondering, cause like I was like, what if you like? I was wondering if somebody like might have just wanted to just make it a subscription service to get more deck slots and stuff like that. But I mean, like, nah. I just I just gotta be good at the game. That is sick. Oh man. All right, now I'm gonna check out the solo gate. 
Oh, this update, this update's good. I mean, technically it kind of came before. The only reason why it was like staggered like this is because they, they didn't want to get like every surprise ruined and have it data mined. To be fair, they already like did though. The only thing that wasn't like explicitly said from them was like the uh, cosmetics. So the Invincible Bee Troopers. In this world, there exist insect warriors who fight and expand their territory with the deadliest of an organized army. They charge onto the battlefield with their trusty bug companions like knights on their steeds. These warriors, with their formidable strength and unique battle style, were known far and wide as bee troopers. <laughs> They're just conquerors, okay. When they went to battle, they would employ various tactical maneuvers to gain advantage over the enemy. Heading the front lines were Bee Trooper Scout Buggy and Bee Trooper Armor Horn. Bee Trooper Scout Buggy would launch aerial assaults from afar, and Bee Trooper Armor Horn dominated the land warfare with its impenetrable defense and advancement prowess. Once they were close enough, Giant Bee Trooper Invincible Atlas, the Bee Trooper's gigantic powerhouse, would swoop in and capture all their targets. These fearsome monsters left no holes in their defense or offense. If push came to shove, they also had foot soldiers that rode on the backs of beetles to deploy. And if any of the troops were injured, Bee Trooper Light Flapper would come rushing to their aid, offering medicine, bandages, and a healing hand. As strong as they were, the Bee Troopers never stopped strategizing how they would face powerful opponents. The awareness to never let their guard down was what made them such a tough group. Okay. Okay. So you get Light Flapper. This summons from Grave? No, uh, Banished Adam to hand. Uh, this actually doesn't lock though. This is a... Hold on. Well, uh, Adam performs his turn. So you have to normal summon this, or special summon it out, and then you get to shuffle back the Banish. You can return this card to hand if you do negate the attack. That is kind of strange for a level 6, but it's whatever. Alright, learn the ins and outs of the Bee Trooper deck. Oh, trust me. Oh, trust me, I, I know nothing about the Bee Trooper deck, but after this right here... Yeah, this one does look good. I have a feeling it's like a similar color scheme though with like the World Trials thing, I don't know. Many of them character support development of the allies use these Bee Trooper tokens to get together four Bee Trooper monsters. Yep. So we're gonna link climate tokens is what you told me? You have a Dexter, why'd you hit from hand? Alright, use Bee Trooper cards to win the dual game. Sir, try something Bee Trooper Scout Buggy. Alright, yeah. Activate Buggy. A Buggy get to scale bomb. Why, why are we hitting from hand though? Scale Bomber. Uh, and now the buggy summon bomber is gonna also summon one. Use two scout buggy as link to summon armor horn. Uh, do they have influence? No, they don't. Does this immediately lock into insects? Yeah, it does. To be fair, insects are like the worst thing to be locked into. You could be locked into like. Uh. Divine. I think that's the worst thing to be locked into. Uh, especially the Bee Trooper token. Wow, hold on, did they just, did they just summon a token? This is basically Sky Striker. <laughs> it's all the materials. Let's make Invincible Atlas, okay. One, two, he, he, I'm afraid he really like the bug deck, and now that Beecher can exist, he might hop on the game again. Still waiting on tag duels, but honestly, like, I don't, this is gonna hold me over for a while. I can guarantee. Activate the field spell, B Trooper Formation. Basically a reborn, okay. So just one B Trooper monster right here. However, it'll, you'll lose life points. That's not an insect thing at all. That's very psychic of you. 
whatever, I guess it has to have some cost, right? Wow. Okay. Special summon Sting Lance by attributing you. Yeah. Oh, you can literally just. Okay. The UR B Trooper card. Like the effect to add Beach for landing from the deck. This is interesting. Like the Link Fort is the engine, or a part of it, I guess. That is cool art. Uh, Beach for also has fusion monsters. As a Hercules is a trump card. Four insect. Deploy your insect monsters. Let's proceed to the battle. All right. So they're gonna tell me I have a fusion monster, and not let me out it. Fair enough. They certainly function as an archetype. Exactly. Well, very nice. Alright. Oh, I don't have any wind stuff. I guess I'll deal with that. Never. Oh, never mind. The wind stuff emerges. Alright. Let's see B Troopers in a real duel, shall we? Storming forth, baby. They cannot be used as tree for tree summon. And that door is. What? Uh, guess you get the shuffle. Okay, armor horn. And then armor horn effect. Perhaps I should kept bugging out. Uh, sure. I guess I'm just gonna clear. Just gonna say yes. <laughs> Max. Oh, I'm so sorry, Max. <laughs> this is not what I. This is not what I first saw for you. Special. What? Further, Link 5, Giant B Trooper. It's very weird, I thought it literally, usually it includes the cost when you like summon stuff. Ah, uh, destroy it. If it makes it monster, you can switch, okay, so it's Kage to Kage. But this seems to assume it's car, blah blah blah, like banishing, you know, like special banish, this car is destroyed, add. Uh, probably just go for the, uh, the combo that the game told me to do. Alright, target a B Trooper special, but it can attack you with life points, sets the field. You can out a B Trooper token. Uh, special B Trooper token. Uh, fusion. Fusion? Or insect monsters. Fascinating, fascinating. Alright. When your opponent activates a monster effect while you control B Trooper. Monster okay, okay. And B Trooper Squad. Tribute special. Yeah. Oh, 
I don't think I'm gonna kill this turn, so I guess I can just make my opponent not play the game. Remove them from play one inside monster from your grave and select a card. The card's gonna be dead even if I set it so. So I will go with positive and for advantage, I guess, after that. Oh no, it's a recruiter! That is literally the best draw in his deck. Hercules Beetle. I was kind of expecting like a, what, a swatting scene. So what's going on. See, I actually have Link Zeus. I'm just waiting for a man. I'm waiting for when you can normal summon a monster. They survive the battle phase, so you get to make this move. Uh, oh. uh, yeah, I guess that resolves, right? There he goes, his whole hand. Play. <laughs> yes. He was gonna get the sword anyway, right? Negate, no happen. Why negate no work? Unaffected. Until the end of the turn. Okay. During the main phase. The main phase. Yeah, I'll take that. Does banishing you, like... <clears throat> Hold on, baby. If you place a target monster on the bottoms of decks, how many fours do I have? Okay, I don't have that many. Uh, I'll give you back your normal, I guess. Your level five normal. They just go on top of this deck. How are you activating this? What? Was he that far ahead? Wow, okay. I draw. This will work. How am I gonna destroy his monster? Extend even further beyond. Be less than four, I'm sure. Invincible Atlas. Tribute and then back they want to Wow, I just get to destroy a spell or trap on the field now. Does it have to be an insect monster? Yeah, it does. Okay. That's interesting. So they're, they're kind of like... Bug Sky Strikers. <laughs> I'm sorry if that offends anyone, but that's just how it seems. Destroy the selected monster. Literally not targeting.
I have defeated Hercules. And now I get my monster neck back. That is sick. They, okay, 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 I'm seeing it now. I'm starting to see it. <clears throat> I'm going to negate that. The turns are, are getting quicker, aren't they? Myself. Just make a link, a link, uh, link through here. Freeze a uh, quick effect from this special grave. There are not in the grave. Okay, you're getting tributed. Alright, good special from the deck, but this is less of a gamble because I don't really know what cards are in a V Trooper deck. Ooh, easy. easy. <laughs> the fact that Scout Buggy only summons Scout Buggy is quite interesting. Mighty Neptune. Literally an SR. Must be special summoned from hand by shuffling three banished insects. Oh, okay. So he's like a nemesis card, but only for insects. Card is under the controller banished. You can special summon this card. Once per turn. Okay, so it's a floater if you don't add it twice. Unlimited floater. And you get the negate? Oh my, you are too kind. I have a feeling I'm going to be seeing a lot of B-Troopers in the near future. There were many types of fighters among the B-Troopers, and they all brought their own specialized skills to the battlefield. These included beetles who could adopt metal, boulder-like forms, and other beetles who would carry them into battle. Known as the B Trooper Assault Roller, they work perfectly in tandem. <clears throat> Their drop and destroy tactic was extremely effective and could even knock down stone walls. Oh, we're talking about primitive bombing right here. <laughs> it's, it's just rocks they're dropping on people. When the B Troopers took the fight to the barren lands where it was hard for the foot soldiers to gain advantage, their flying fire razors would take the spotlight. They would immediately ruin the archetype, structure, and architecture of the place they were trying to conquer. Uh, literally just burn everything. They would take the lead to bring chaos to a wide area of the battlefield. Any targets that are left would be mortally wounded by the poison spears of the B Trooper Sting Lancer. We're just committing war crimes now. <laughs> oh my gosh. No wonder they're so formidable if they don't care about the law. As formidable as every B Trooper was, the most attention-grabbing forces would have to be their giant beetles. There is a heavy B Trooper, Mighty Neptune, who devastated enemies from a distance with its cannon and ranged archers. And Ultra B Trooper, Absolute Hercules, who obliterated all that stood in its path with an energy blast powerful enough to raise the Earth to nothing. And who could forget the B Trooper Invincible Atlas, a major key to the B Trooper's victories. Whenever the Bee Troopers claimed another successful battle, the land they fought on would become theirs. Another area would be added to their ever-expanding territory of the vast lands, a lush nature that they hungered for. And just like any other day, the Bee Troopers are off again to a new battlefield. Ooh. Okay, Bee Troopers are undeniably the bad guys here, but I mean, they are kind of cool. Playing based punk. <laughs> you tell it was the Amen. Oh my. Uh, it's still better to use this. Because I can. I don't have to use normal summon on the Zayaman. Because I got you tell 
So now I can just go into the super quant part of this deck. Uh, I did not want to open this though, that's for sure. Like I didn't want to... I don't know, this is the, the Zayaman in hand could have been something else I guess. But that's just because I already know the play's going to work out, because why would I get hand trapped during a, an opponent's turn? During this? I can make pitch go into a 7. Uh, on top of a monster make 8. But why would I do that when I can literally just not? You know, I actually had to craft two red because every red I did got called by immediately. Still waiting for that card to get banned, by the way. Uh, green layer, blue, blue's not happening. We're gonna add blue? We haven't normaled yet. Or are we gonna add you, send, yeah, yeah, yeah. blue. Blue might miss timing though. We are going to out blue, and we are going to send a white. Miss timing. I love it when it misses timing. Uh, yeah. Come on. Bring your blah blah. Activate quick effect, have it. Yeah. <laughs> Increase. Increase by one five uh chaos ruler. Or decrease by one three plus two. Sure, I already have them. Okay, that's not <laughs> that's not what I expected. <laughs> I might have uh, forgotten that the tuner was a 3 and not a 1. It's fine, we can still make 7. And we still got the advantage that we wanted to, right? Now we shuffle back. Uh, shuffle back. You, you, you. Though I only run 1 green, so. Uh, go shuffle the back. You draw. Uh, Dawn Dragster. I really gotta start something in the defense position. Like, I'm gonna use the gate. I already know I am. Yeah. And set one, two. It's not the worst board in the world. I've made worse. <laughs> I think you actually watched the DC Cup that I literally, uh. Target one, the gate. Yeah, yeah. Let's force you to use a bit more materials than just that. <clears throat> and that's your normal, so... Your extender would most likely be a spell. And, uh, I have a spell to get on field. I guess I'll negate it, right? Verdant Sanctuary. Never even seen this card before. Looks kinda old. I draw. Okay. Uh. Thinking of follow up, thinking of follow up. He won't have any material then. <laughs> make an 8. I could make an 8 actually. It's like, it's like blue is like intuitively of uh, intuitively like a when, so you can't just like instantly do really good. I don't know. Uh, send the five out the blue. We 
and I could search. The other thing I would search would be a trap with that. So. There goes normal. Can we make 11? We can make 11. Ooh, there's a lot of things we can make actually. We can learn just exist with these two. There's five, so we can make eight. We can make you. Oh no, but we don't have a tuner then. This is quite funny. And I'm not locked right now, so I can just bounce back, whatever. It's not like I have OTK anyway. Actually, I might have, if I, if I did that. Am I locked? I definitely do have punks in the graveyard I can hit. I won't doubt this guy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why it's not uh, activatable here. Alright. Time to attack. Oh, this is damage step. Do you get replay on damage step? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think you get replay on damage step. You don't, because then punks could literally just clear entire fields with a normal summon in this. And I feel like then they would actually be played Pierre more often. Yeah, I'm just going to the extra deck, I won't stop you. Okay. The amount of life points you have is just a suggestion anyway. Galaxy Worm. Activate. Now I got him. Um, so because I returned, I couldn't. Okay, that makes sense. It doesn't really make sense. The effect's not that good. But I understand why now. I think lethal is approaching. Uh, I could discard with Zayama. Less useful. What is a tuner? So a 600 attack. Not you. Does anybody know that actually that was an effect that happened? By the way, 600 attack. Mr. Dragster. Nine hundred attack. Uh, replay. Oh wow, you just get rid of that. Say good night. Quite easy. Quite easy. Now I have my wind orbs. And now I can go straight into the new game. Let's try this first. I probably should have read the description. But it's fine, it's fine. My dueling prowess will get me ahead. We have eight, we have scales, I guess. Um, monsters, pre um, uh, if a spellcaster with its normal, you draw. I don't have 1850. 
why why are beat troopers here with this? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm seeing it now, I'm seeing it now. <clears throat> oh, right, this is literally just the Earth attribute. Oh, guess that. Bless me. I only run to one water. That is not quite That's the earth one I gotta add, or the earth one I can add. I put the hand back up now. Okay. I think this is the one I want, right? No, you? Yeah, probably you. What are you? Sting Lancer. Okay, it's, now I gotta reorder everything. Declare a name, why don't you? Trooper... Sting Lancer... What the? How did I know? That's actually a pretty cool synergy. Uh, because they just have all that. And I guess a 2100 couldn't hurt. Enter on that. Really have much to do with B Troopers so though. It just kind of like points out the fact that they have different attributes in your deck. Cicada King. Cicada Pass. Oh. Debug. Yep. Debug Corbage. Draw. Oh, okay. I still know what cards are on top of my deck, right? It's still known information. <laughs> I forgot though. <laughs> Alright, so we have this, 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 and this. It was what? One, two. I'm pretty sure it's the fire one. Which is Scale Bomber. Okay, I suck at this game. Oh. <laughs> I actually wanted it in the graveyard, so I could banish a light and a dark, and out the Sting Lancer. Field Soul's probably best for this. Okay, now the deck shuffled and I actually don't know what's on the top of it. I could tribute you, out you back. Is this a once per turn? It is a once per turn. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Gotta be taking some heavy damage. Can it attack? It can. Wow, this is a lot of cards. Okay. I think I'll just keep them out. Top card your opponent's deck to the grave. Am I milling them? What's? I feel like this only benefits him. I can't attack. Okay. Well, if I knew that, I would have. Oh wow! He just goes plus off of it. Oh. Are you target a wind monster in your opponent's grave? He has no, none of that. Quite bad, isn't it? Just make the bait trooper card. You're also an insect monster, this card's not great, you can banish. I am unsure. I'm 
very uncertain about what I should do. Sure, just make the win win and draw. Scout buggy is a nice card to have. You're gonna get banished. You're not. Okay. Extenders? It has to be destroyed. I'll end there then. Who knows what next turn has in store? He's going to the seven. My nose buzz. What's this do? Uh, it's about defense position. Okay, that's quite strange. Uh, I okay. I guess Kai Denko was the only or Kai Kendo Spirit was the only target for that. Quite strange. Quite strange. Basically, bomber, water, wind. Bomber, water, wind. Bomber, water, wind. Bomber, water, wind. I thought that was the other spell, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that was the token. <laughs> so the scales are set. Don't do the effect, please don't do the effect. Though I guess it technically would be optimal if I did. I just don't care. Two non-link monsters, link summon. Then we can make a three. Who am I to say? We can make you. You would have 2300. That's not quite enough, is it? Why do you have more kids? 200 feet. Insect monster you control. Just going to Papi on now. Remove specials on it. Two plus, two hundred counter. Do we literally get one counter? Uh, sure. I, I don't like have IV, so I don't really understand. Does do you have to use effect for it to have influence? I guess you do. I feel like I could have made the guy here. A bit of a missed opportunity, that's whatever. 2k damage, by the way. Add them to your hand. Hand's a good place to be. I'm never gonna be able to out this card. <laughs>
Atlas enters the field. And I'll enter on that. and I can't do anything about this. At least they get a token, right? I feel like he definitely could try and make like a Sky Striker build this deck. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead? He spared me? Can I not attack? Oh, no, he, he straight up spared me. Can I actually use this? <laughs> What's in the graveyard that I get out? Alright. <clears throat> Banish a monster, why not? Out you. Playing the game, you're certainly playing the game. I am gonna go even further beyond. Banishing a light and a dark. <laughs> that doesn't shuffle. That doesn't shuffle. We can make that if we want. It would actually beat out. And you can summon. It's not my grave now. I'm just I'm just thinking right now. God, that's a thing. <laughs> well, the only reason why he has so much is because of all the insects, right? So it's kind of dropped a lot of that. all my no knowledge about what's on my deck gone. I could just normally him afterwards, right? You just have more attack. And then I have scales. To hand. Hold on. Oh. I want it out. I want it out this card so bad. <laughs> I know it's just not gonna happen though. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna deck him out of this raid. Banish one card on the field. I wonder what I could hit. until the end of your next turn. Oh wow, I just threw It's really not up to me. Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna lose. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. We're entering overdrive mode.
Well, I get out of four, I get out the three K guy, but the three K guy is actually a bit more than three K, so it shouldn't actually be lethal. You know what this archetype needs? Metal foes. I love stacking my deck with useless cards. There are no useless cards in this deck. So bad white woman exists. And make it all fix me up. Yep, sure. Doesn't really do anything, but it's there. 3600, two 3600s. Come on, come on. Two monsters in a dream, baby. Oh. This is this was quite close. I will not lie. Give me a lethal game. You know I you know I deserve it. Come on, I actually should have moved you over here. Uh, Twenty seven hundred over you. That's like Ooh. Don't do that. <laughs> what a bad card. <laughs> The perform a foul thing. Wow, that was that was a hard game, I will not lie. That was a hard game. Of course, my dueling prowess got me through it at the end of the day. Uh yeah. What's what's next? Curse of Anubis and Spiderweb. That is that sounds horrible. Okay. Yes, yes, I know. What? He runs Lightning Vortex in the deck he plays against meta. Yeah, so what? I draw. Blue. Spells and traps. Literally can just make an eight right now. Mm, pretty sure that's what I wanted.
I wonder. Just want to see what happens here. Oh, the effect still goes off. Okay. He he clearly didn't make the card effects. He set face down. What is that, like the level 5 normal? Does it really matter? Sure, why not get the trap? I already have lethal, so... Oh, it's not face up. He's playing around Lightning Storm, he knows. I literally have lethal, so I might as well just attack with the biggest guy I have. 2200. Good call, good call. That was way easier than the, uh, <laughs> the liner deck. Going second. I tend to be going second these times. I have no good control over it, but observation. Oh my. Already? Not so fast. Is he gonna actually try to exceed something? I mean, why, why did they give me this card if he wasn't going to try it? He was actually going to exceed something. Wow. Go keep Oh no, I'm playing an Imperm Column. Better, I guess. I don't gain anything from something that goes on. <clears throat> Destroy a card, yes. That is not efficient at all. <laughs> I didn't. I thought I would be able to hit anything. I didn't. Whatever. Whatever. It's fine. This works right. I think this is like the main line. There's no way this is not. You know, it was actually calculated when you think about it. I think I'm gonna keep playing see on the field for another turn. Can I can I like say no? Can I say that was a mistake? Oh my gosh, I love throwing. I love throwing so much. Attack, man. How do I how do I achieve that? I feel like there's definitely a way to get these guys to 3k attack without the uh, the investment that the game wants you to make for these. Can I not just add the field spell? Do I just not have it? It's kind of annoying. Field spell. I like the field spell. Like, sure, it kind of killed you half the time, but. Cool. 
Alright. Your move duelist. say he wasn't counting on that one. <clears throat> I draw. Okay. Good draw, good draw. Or one more insect that I could add two tokens with this guy. Right. Yeah, it's just a thousand attack. It doesn't matter how they're original. Someone's another future for Scout Buggy. I am now insect locked. <laughs> Cicada King, Giga Berlin. Uh, probably just get yeah. completely fine with this, this outcome. That's that. Oh, that's the gate, right? Probably wouldn't run too many of them in my deck though. In my my imaginary beach trooper deck that I don't have. Yeah. Sorry. I know you're gonna get destroyed, but it's the only way. Let's see if he has a trap that'll save him from this. He doesn't. My battle trick prevails yet again. Draco Stephanelia. That is a thick deck. No, I'm, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. <laughs> Predaponics. The plant insect combo. Yeah, one second, I drew like two bricks here. Get the monster effect, don't you? That's only on summon down. I think it's still better to do this. We get blue on summon. We only get the search if blue gets summoned instead of like from grave or anything. <coughs> this is the cards in summon, yeah. 
Then I can send the four if I want to. Shuffling blue is probably a mistake there. I'll probably attach you afterwards. Oh, uh, I can't do this during the battle phase. I don't think so. That was a plan by this. End turn. Okay, I said I would attach it and I didn't attach it. That is great. Okay, it literally doesn't matter. These these VTuber um <laughs> these VTuber decks aren't aren't the greatest, aren't they? Uh I think the main strength of the uh, the punk engine is literally just that there's no like bad part of it to draw. Like I guess if like you really want to hit like Italian Foxy, right? So you don't have to even want it, but you can still normally, and it still like works completely fine. damage I guess. It's, it's a shame they literally can't attack. <laughs> I draw. Avarice. Avarice is cool. That was a scout buggy. Oh, he got me, he got me. I've conquered the bee troopers. So yeah, that's the update pretty much. Um, I've done everything. Now, there's only one thing left to do. That's to get the dual field. Daily 40? Why 40 today? 
Oh, that was like the missions. Oh, uh, the duel three times with solo. What do you get from this? <clears throat> These cards are kind of whack. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you get some DD cards? Wow, I thought that's a the F word. <laughs> the Land Hydra. Yeah, I don't think I really care about any of these cards. Strawberry Normal. Three more monsters. Reveal one card, add deck search, but you have to be in like a really bad position, so it's probably just not going to resolve. Alright, let's see. You only get two, right? It's kind of like a legacy pack. Yeah. Two Doom Dozers. I'm actually insane. My VTubers are going to elevate to the next level now. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm kinda kinda kind of blushing now. I think the game was a crush on me. Dark Highlander. I've heard this card before, I've never actually used it. Probably won't either. Wow. <laughs> Maybe the funk it. I just need to dive into the DC packs more. My luck's not bad. Symbol of friendship. Man. Man. So this is what a poll looks like. Honestly, Doom Dozer is like probably the one card in this this like pack that you can actually use. Like maybe Ray Victory if you care enough about Utopia. Anyway, now now now, now let's see it. The Duel of Yield. And that's a big, that's a big task. <laughs> Alright, that's that. Like the video, like, subscribe, comment, do I'll see you guys later.